So here we are going to demonstrate about uh, hybrid power generation system. Uh, the main components of our project are uh, wind turbine and the solar panels. So and here you can see an inverter circuit board and whereas there is a charge controller out there. So with the help of these all components we are going to generate the voltage. So let us discuss about the wind turbine. So here we have used an uh, Pelton type uh, vertical axis wind turbine. So whenever it is going to rotate uh, with the help of wind blow, there is a connecting uh, rod uh, connected to a shaft. So there is a shaft of 6 mm connected to the gearbox of the permanent magnet DC motor. So whenever the shaft is going to rotate, the gearbox is going to rotate the uh, rotatory motion of the magnets, permanent magnet. So these permanent magnets are going to generate the voltage and this generated voltage is given as an input to the charging circuit. So here you can see two charging circuits over here. So one is for the dynamo, another is for the solar panels. So this uh, generated voltage uh, is going to give input uh, power supply to the DB107 bridge rectifier and here you can see a 1000 microfarads capacitor and toggle switch to on and off the power supply and there is a diode uh, to not get reverse current into the circuit. These are the connecting element terminals, output terminals, wherever you want, you can connect it. And the same circuit repeats on the other end, but here you have uh, the solar panels. So here we are going to use a uh, solar panel, another source. So coming to the solar panel, uh, solar panel is nothing but a photovoltaic diode. So whenever the light intensity falls on this photovoltaic diode, it is emitting the voltage. The emitted voltage will be stored into the battery. So these uh, photovoltaic diodes are uh, different types like uh, monocrystal, polycrystal, crystal solar cells, high concentric solar cells, uh, concentric like that. There are n varieties of solar cells. So here we are going to use a uh, polycrystal solar cell. So these uh, solar cells are connected in series and parallel uh, format and gives an output voltage around uh, 12 volts, 20 watt. 12 volts, so, 20 watt. 20 watt. So this uh, power supply is going to give as an input uh, to the charging circuit where all the components are connected in series, sorry, parallel. Yeah. So all the positive terminals or all the negative terminals are connected to the single two pin terminal to which uh, we are going to give as an input to the charging circuit. So this uh, again uh, output will be given to the two pin element connecting terminal where the both uh, terminals are again combined like positive and negative are connected in parallel and giving as an input to the charge controller. So in the charge controller uh, here you can see an uh, voltage display. So whatever the voltage is going to become that can be shown in the charge controller. So this charge controller is again given as an input to the uh, adapter uh, terminal to the battery. So the battery gets charged whenever it starts to rotate. So here you can, uh, whenever you want to see the voltage display, you have to connect to this terminal or else you can connect to this terminal so that whenever the uh, rotation is being done, uh, the charging LED will be blown. So this is how the voltage generation is being demonstrated. So whenever the wind turbine is going to be rotated, the LED intensity will be increased. Rotate So here you can see the charging LED also being indicated. So this is how the uh, solar and wind uh, power generation is been demonstrated. And there is another advantage over here, you can connect the uh, AC as an input also. So whenever you give AC as an input, uh, the battery gets uh, charged uh, automatically with the help of AC power supply if at all there is any problem. So this is how the battery gets charged. Thank you. This is how the project has been demonstrated. Thank you.